Hey everyone, Cody here. And today I wanna to talk about how to finish a creative project or on a piece of art that maybe you just, you know you should do or you, you partly wanna do, you just don't have the motivation to do it. You know, I deal with depression and it's kind of cyclical. So some days it's fine, some days I just don't wanna do anything at all. And this affects my creativity because there's times where I, I just wanna paint and I burst and I make a bunch of paintings. And then there's times where I just don't ever wanna paint ever again. So I just kind of go through these cycles. And I know my personality, I know that I deal with that. So uh, I've come up with a couple of ways that I wanna share with you that if you deal with you know depression or if you deal with just a lack of motivation to to do something that you maybe once loved, then these might be able to help you to kind of get back into a creative spirit, at least for a short time, right? So uh, one like aspect of having depression is that things that you found joy in, so things that you just thoroughly loved, hobbies or interests, can just taper off and just all of a sudden you just don't love them anymore. And, you, and it's hard to explain why. And it's not that, you know, you just all of a sudden hate it. It's just that like, you'll kind of go through these spurts. And that's what I deal with. So I want to make this video, if you don't deal with that, then this video may not be of use to you. But if you're finding a lack of motivation to to even do your hobbies or interests, especially if you're watching this channel, then it's kind of pertaining to painting or, or being creative. I want to share those three things with you. Okay, so lately, I've kind of been feeling that way where I didn't want to paint. That's why I have not been uploading a lot of videos lately, because I just haven't been painting lately. And I do have supplies. And I just don't, I just haven't been interested in doing that. But I'm going to share three ways that you can hopefully boost your creativity and kind of get, you know, back into a spirit of, of wanting to create. It may not last forever, but at least maybe it'll help prompt you to, to at least get back into some kind of a creative state. Okay, so let me share with the share those things with you uh, right now. So the first, uh, the first thing that I do, the first technique that I use to kind of get back into a creative spirit is to try a new te technique. And this is why on this channel, you'll see like I, I do, you know, these, I've been doing these line paintings, but then I also do dabbed paintings or I do Gerard Richter inspired paintings or Jackson Pollock inspired paintings. I do different techniques because that helps me to stay in a creative state. I know if I, if if this were a business and I was trying to really just make the art my business, which I I don't have an intention of that. Um, if I was going to make the art my business, I would just create the same type of art every time. I would just do line paintings or dab paintings, Jackson Pollock, whatever. I would just pick one style and just do that over and over again. And so, in it from a business perspective, that is probably the best way to go because. Then people get familiar with that style. They equate that style to you so that when you have that, then they can kind of come back to that. However, I do know, and, and this is the, the the big advice that's kind of pushed by a lot of people. They say like, oh, you just need to stick with one thing and do it over and over and over again. However, some of the artists that I know that are professional artists, I mean, that is the only way they make money is by selling art. They don't do that. They have a couple of different styles, but there might be one thing that kind of anchors them. I always go back to Suarez, um, Ed from Suarez Art. You can find him on YouTube. He does live painting tutorials. He's one of my favorite guys. He's just like, he's very down to earth. Uh, he uses gloss enamel like I do. And he, he just, he does all these different techniques, but he's a professional artist and he sells paintings and he does different things. So trying a different technique kind of can help you get back into that creative uh, spirit or, or just kind of that... Um, I don't know, that state of being. So for me, and that has helped me. So this channel, you'll notice that there are different styles because I go back and forth on that. I want to do the same thing over and over again. But at the same time, I just don't have that urge. You know, I, I kind of want to make videos that you would like, but also that I would like that, you know, trying different things and, and just doing different techniques. It helps me to kind of come back to it. So when I don't really want to post videos or, or make paintings, Trying a different technique or or returning to an old technique kind of helps me get back into that. And maybe I find something new or maybe, you know, I, I like that technique again. So I do it a few times and it kind of gets me through uh, that roadblock. So trying a different technique or returning to an old one is the first thing I would suggest to help you get back into a creative state uh, if you're, you know, if you're struggling with that. But not only that, not just painting. I mean, any type of creative influence, maybe you make music or maybe you make uh, or maybe you write, you know, I also write in my spare time. And sometimes 
uh, taking a break from the writing, but then coming back and, and working on some different type of project will help me kind of get back into the spirit of writing. So really, it doesn't matter what your creative outlet is. Um, hopefully, this that method of just trying a different technique will kind of, maybe they'll spark some juices and it will give you inspiration to return to another project that you are kind of stuck on. So that's one. The second one is to immerse yourself into something, uh, the culture of that thing that it is. So sometimes I feel like we just, we, we, we kind of grind, right? And uh, like Gary Vee, you know, he talks about like grinding and hustling and there's just like this culture nowadays where you just have to like grind it out. And I got caught in that and it burnt me out. So my recommendation is take a break, just kind of, you know, ease back, um, pull off of it a little bit off the gas pedal and kind of take a step back. And instead of trying to create, 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 if you're stuck in a place where you just, you've, you're creating all the time and now you're just burnt out, take a step back and then immerse yourself in the culture, but not from the point of view of just trying to, to create more, but just to enjoy that whatever it is the industry is that you're a part of. So one thing that's helped me is when I feel stuck and I feel like I just am not inspired and I just don't want to do the same things that I've done before or I just don't want to paint because I just have no motivation because, you know, they don't turn out a certain way or I'm not selling them or whatever it is. What I'll do is I'll just immerse myself and just absorb a lot of other people's work or a lot of other things, I'll go somewhere where I can immerse myself in that to make me feel more inspired to go back and take that with me to create more, if that makes sense. So let me give you a couple examples. So like I said, I go through this, uh, you know, these waves of not wanting to work and then bursting and making a bunch of paintings and it just kind of goes off and on. And one thing I'll do to kind of get excited is I will just immerse myself in the culture or I'll go to the store and immerse myself in the supplies. It sounds really stupid, but it actually works. Okay. So one thing I'll do is like, I would go to, um, I can go to museums or galleries here in Arizona. So I go, you know, to ones in Phoenix or, you know, we'll go out of town and we'll visit ones in Scottsdale or Flagstaff or whatever. I'll go to museums or art galleries and I'll just look at other people's art. And I'll just kind of absorb, right? I'll just look at other people's things and kind of absorb that into myself and, you know, just kind of take that in to be inspired to make my own stuff, maybe my own version of other people's things. So it's like if I see a, a realist painting and I'm not going to make a surrealist painting at home, but I love the color scheme of it or I like the, the layout of the painting. I might go home and take that color scheme or, you know, the layout of that painting and make an abstract version of that or something similar, right? So absorbing that in or I'll look at other abstract artists and not from the point of comparing myself to theirs, but just looking at the color schemes or, or the technique that they use and, and trying that technique because, you know, again, just experimenting and just breaking through the that barrier of, of doing the same thing again and again. Now, the last thing I had mentioned on that is going to the store and sometimes I'll just go to the craft store and I will just look at all the supplies in the craft store. So I'll go and I'll look at the canvas and I'll look at the paints and I'll just kind of walk down the aisles and just, just kind of look at everything and kind of soak it in to absorb it. And I'll just kind of think about all of the things I could make with those supplies. So I'll look at the canvas and I'll think, you know, I can picture this painting on this size canvas. Or I'll go down and I'll look at the different colors and say, oh, you know, these colors might be kind of cool together. And I never thought about that. And I'll, I'll just kind of absorb some of that. And then I'll start picking up supplies and buying canvas to go out and create something with it. So just going to the store, even if I didn't want to paint before, just going out and picking up some new supplies, to get a vision and seeing something that I could make with that will inspire me to come back home and paint. So that's, uh, you know, that's just another way of doing it. So immersing yourself in the culture or the supplies of, at the store, you know, just, I guess going to the store is still kind of immersing yourself in that creative environment because you're just so overwhelmed with so many things that you could do. Sometimes you get inspired that way. So that's, that's another way to do it. So immersing yourself um, in the culture or the creative uh, you know, a creative space. The last one is simply <sighs> returning to the work. And I talk about this in other videos and stuff like that, but just sometimes you have to go and just look at your, your own work to be inspired by yourself. Sometimes 
our inspiration comes externally, but sometimes it comes from the inside too. And I sometimes what I'll do is if I'm not feeling creative and other people are trying to motivate me like, hey, you know, I, I noticed you haven't painted in a while, why not? Sometimes I'll go back and I'll look at my good pieces or the pieces that I like and I'll kind of just sit there and stare at them and I'll, and I'll kind of contemplate or reflect on the pieces that I really liked. And what did I like about them? Did I like the colors? Did I like the technique? Did I like the size of it or, or the method that I used to make it? I'll just kind of just kind of contemplate those things about my own work. And sometimes even getting that inspiration from within will help me to want to make something like that. So if I look at my best pieces, the pieces I really like, it'll kind of like spark me to want to make something like that again. And so maybe it's not, you know, akin to the stuff that I keep making currently, but it gets me at least into, it, it breaks me out of that rut and that mental state to just create. Sometimes you just need to create to get out of that that state, that broken state. So uh, sometimes looking at my own work, the stuff that I really like, that I'm proud of, and trying to recreate that, you know, with other colors or, you know, on a different type of surface or something like that, you know, just something a little different, but but of the same, you know what I mean? So just doing something a little different uh, based on previous work that I've already done. So that's pretty much it. Those are the three things that I use to to get creative again if I lack motivation to do so. So if you are a creative person, doesn't matter if you paint or draw or, you know, do whatever, make music, film, do videos. My point is, is that if you're feeling like you're in a rut and you feel like a lack of motivation to create the things that you normally create, try these things, you know, try, uh, trying, try a different technique as opposed to what you normally do or immerse yourself in your culture. If you, if you like making videos, go watch other videos, but don't, don't necessarily watch it with a critical eye of, oh, they do this, they do this. Just just watch it, enjoy it. And you can kind of keep it in the back of your mind like, oh, how did they, I wonder how they do this. Or, you know, that's a cool idea. Just something, right? So using that that momentum of, of taking that inspiration and just making something is better than not making anything at all. So even if you did something was, that was completely off the wall different than what you normally do, it's better that you do that than nothing. And sometimes when you do those those one-off things, you're proud of that work. So sometimes you just do it to to break that, you know, the rut or the cycle of of not being motivated, but sometimes you you do something different and you're just insanely proud of it or it just turns out better than you expected and that kind of inspires you again to make another one like it or or to keep pursuing that for a while just to see how it goes. And if it doesn't work out, then you return to what you already did. But if it does, then you would never have done it if you didn't break that cycle. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Uh, I will have a painting video up for you guys soon, I promise. Uh, but I just wanted to share that. So if you're stuck in a, in a creative rut or you have a lack of motivation to create, maybe those suggestions will help you. So anyways, uh, again, thanks for watching. I'm Cody. God bless. Take care. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.